interview with Lucas. So, Lucas, I have a question for you. Are you excited to meet your cousins? Hi, guys. It's Eric. And Adam. And Corinne. And Mike. Yay! And today <laughs> is... Mick Baby Monday. Mick Baby Monday. It's Mick Baby, Baby Monday. Monday. Yay! As you can see, we have doubled our team here today. And as you know, this is Corinne, our lovely and amazing sister-in-law slash surrogate. And then this is my brother, Mike. And we had discussed prior to this, uh, bringing him on, asking him some questions. Uh, a lot of you had kind of asked some questions of how he's doing with the whole situation and what it's like for him. So we wanted to uh, get a little update. Yeah. So, Mike, what has it been like from your perspective going through this whole journey? It's been a learning experience for me. You know, you think that if you have two kids already, you kind of know what to expect, but uh, I just been trying to do my best to take care of my wife and make sure that things are in order and our kids aren't going crazy and they understand everything that's going on and just trying to keep everything together. Have you found any of it overwhelming? No. <laughs> Wait, she, she says yes though. He does all Don't the laundry, all the dishes, all the cleaning. That's probably a little overwhelming. But but we knew to start this journey that that's exactly kind of how things were going to go and we were willing to take that on and if it means that, uh, you know, we can provide a family for my brother and Adam, then that's going to kind of be what's going to happen. So, yeah. so a question for both of you, which you can answer individually, what's been your favorite part? Because we are almost at the end. We're about at 35 weeks. Yeah. And so what has been your favorite part? Well, I love not doing laundry, so. <laughs> <laughs> and that's been my favorite part, is doing all the laundry. My favorite part? The end. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've enjoyed seeing my boys and how they've responded to it, specifically Lucas, and he helps me put on my shoes, and he talks to my belly every day. I've really enjoyed that part. I think my favorite part, and I knew this from the beginning, is that my wife is a champ. So, I've been proud of her because uh, under the surface, you don't know kind of what happens unless, you know, you're here firsthand and watching everything happen and the outpouring of love and support from our family and our friends, uh, you know, people just out of nowhere, uh, just being just openly warm and always asking about how things are going with her. And so that's been, that's been the, the coolest part to see is to know that we have such a foundation, especially our friends. It's been a pretty cool thing. So we already knew we had cool friends, hmm. and I think that's kind of what I and what Kern and I want to instill in our boys is that you know those selfless acts, those willingness to make sacrifices, even when it might put back a little bit on you and might mean that you have to change a little bit because it shouldn't be always be good in what we do. I think so. So, seeing as we are close to the end of this whole journey, again another <laughs> question for both of you: What has been changed like what's changed since earlier on in the journey well i do more work <laughs> <laughs> my size <laughs> as you can see it's sitting in my lap now no i'm just tired i'm very tired a lot so that adjusting to that has been hard and i'm used to doing things on my own not that i don't appreciate lots of help but i'm not used to being told sit down relax and so that's been a little bit of so compared to, because we did the second trimester interview, and that was when you were about like five, six months mm -hmm. along. So no, is you it, still had energy then. <laughs> so that's that's like the main thing is just being real chill and low key and. Yeah. I have to say that it's amazing because until this particular visit, I don't think I have really. I've always commented that Corinne is like on top of it and like full of energy and so just happy and I think this visit was probably the first time where I finally have seen you just a little tired and just saying a little tired is weird because she should be a lot more tired yeah, I was expecting her to be like, like just on the ground at all times just like 
clawing her slate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's like always in such good spirits, which is amazing to see because she has like 58 pounds on her. 58 pounds? I don't know. It was a rough <laughs> estimate. But grabbing number yeah. My continent, remember? <laughs> the continent, yes. Yeah, I think from our end, just agreeing with Mike that she's Superwoman and she's just whenever we've seen you, you've always been in high spirits and we comment on it all the time to people who have asked how you're doing and we're like, she's remarkably in high spirits yeah. and we don't know how because yeah. either she's putting on a show for us or she's, uh, but I think That's she strong isn't she because is that strong. Yeah. this time around we, I think we've seen a little, little, little bit of a dip. You saw the so. action in my belly yeah. all oh today. My gosh. So then they're like, there. oh, that's why she's tired. Active, active little girls. All right, so new question. What's going to be the first thing both of you do after they're born? <laughs> have a drink. I won't be like excessively or anything. <laughs> I don't know, for me, I'm. Not one single thing other than hopefully return to somewhat of a bit of normalcy. Not that our, our lives and our families normal anyway, because it's far from that. But, you know, just to, to see my wife back kind of feeling like she can get around and do the things that she wants to do before. Sleep. Sleep, <laughs> Sleep definitely. For both of us, I think. So I have a question. So the further along you get... Um, clearly it becomes a little more noticeable that you are carrying twins. Um, how has been everyone's, because everyone clearly makes a comment or says something. Everyone. How are you dealing with that? Because I know sometimes just you're just like, yay, but on the inside it I just smile, little... honestly. I went to Target the other day and a man said he hoped I was on my way to the hospital. And I just smiled and said, not yet. So, yeah. For all of you who wonder what to say to somebody who you think is almost due, don't say it. <laughs> Have some tact. Um, you look beautiful. <laughs> and look in the eyes, not at the belly. It's like, <laughs> I'm up here, I'm up here. <laughs> and you talk about how she's been kind of, and I don't, I don't want to keep going back to the friend thing, but that's the bottom line. I mean, our friends have been incredibly supportive. In saying like, oh, you look fantastic and you're beautiful. And I know they mean that genuinely. They're just not saying that because, you know, she looks like she may be on her way to the hospital kind of thing. But I think they're very genuine and always kind of keep an eye on her. I definitely have to give a big shout out to your guys' as friends and everyone because I see it too. Um, how they, they come anything. over at the last minute to watch the boys. If Corinne has to go, you know, to a doctor's appointment. Uh, so... Big shout out to you guys who have helped out, Corinne. Thank you on behalf of Adam and mm -hmm. myself because we see it and we appreciate it because we can't be here. So um, it's nice to know that they have a support system. Which yeah. Is great. But you know, while I have the opportunity, I do think it's important because this isn't just a one man show helping his wife get through this. I do think that as much as Eric and Adam have been able to be supportive, I mean, as much as you humanly possibly can, you have been. And so just from my perspective, I've appreciated that. I know you're always looking out for her. I know you're always calling and texting and checking in and every single, you know, appointment that is possible for you to make, you're there. So, and all the things that you send that I then have to use on her, like lotions and things like that. I really appreciate that. <laughs> New question. About a year ago, you came to us and offered to be our surrogate and now we're in the in stretch. Mm -hmm. So we changed our mind. <laughs> oh, <Okay. sorry. laughs> Too late. Uh, but has it been what you have expected? Does it kind of blow your mind that you're at this point? Like what, what's in your mind? Um, I feel like I never really like thought the whole thing through, not in a bad way, but just like I was really excited about it, but I never thought of all the details. So like thinking that it's like almost to the end is kind of crazy. Yeah. That's exciting. Because I don't know if any yeah. of us really had too many expectations because none of us had ever been through this experience before. Yeah. And so... I wasn't expecting it to be so fast, too. Like, right? Uh, Doesn't it feel like... I mean, I know you're pregnant that? for, you know, up to 40 weeks and whatever, but that's like the majority of what this year has been, but to have the process of... And I think, I think so yeah, I think yeah. there's expectations that, that I had initially. I don't think there's anything out of the ordinary. I do think that some things have happened along the way, um, you know, for good and for bad that um, 
were kind of a little challenging for us, but I don't, I don't think we change our mind. And if we were going to say, hey, could we, could we trace back and not do it again? I don't think our decision would be any different. But, um, but yeah, there's goods and the bads that come with everything. In the beginning, it seemed slow, but now looking back, it's like, oh my gosh, that time flew by. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Two babies before Christmas. Oh, or yeah. maybe before Thanksgiving. Hopefully oh. before Thanksgiving. Yeah. So another question that we've been getting from a lot of people out there is <clears throat> if it's a C-section or even, you know, if it's a vaginal birth, what uh, will it look like as far as who's in the room? And they said it will be up to four people if it's a vaginal normal delivery so we can all be in there. But uh, unfortunately, there is only one person allowed for a C-section. And I think collectively as a group, we all strongly believe that my brother Mike should be in the room with Corinne um, for numerous reasons. Um, you know, we could be selfish and say, no, absolutely not. We just want one of us to be in there. But um, we, our first priority is for Corinne's safety and health and making sure everything is okay. And that has been from the beginning. So to ask us, our first answer would be Mike, just because I don't think if anything were to happen in the room, we we couldn't. I don't think I could ever forgive myself. For I it. wouldn't know what to do. Rather be there. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> um, <laughs> Doctor, where are you? I would like, actually, today. I would actually pay to see what that was. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a like, whole YouTube uh, video for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, oh my god, what's happening? Yeah, but we all we all just think that it's only right for Mike to be in the room with her if it is a C-section, which is why we are really rooting, all of us are really rooting for a natural vaginal birth, just so we can all be in there and experience it all together. Um, and I don't really want to see Corinne get cut up, so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> so, yeah. But, but I think we made that decision early, early on. Yeah. Like even before we all decided to do this, we were talking and she and Corinne was like, Well, I just let you know I'd want Mike and we're like, Yes, absolutely. Yeah, there done. was no discussion. Yeah. So that is our video today. I'm so happy that we were able to sit down with Mike and Corinne. Uh, it's crazy because everybody's so busy. They have a lot of stuff to do. They have two boys, so taking a moment. Uh, for us is really amazing yeah. to sit down and to answer questions for a lot of our subscribers out there is really awesome. So thank you for sitting down. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have any more questions that we missed that you are curious about for yeah. Mike or Corinne. Let us know. We will ask them and get back to you. Yeah. But other than that. And we are so close to the end. So. Our girls are almost here and we cannot yeah. wait. So, so lots of thoughts, lots of good yeah. prayers for us. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you soon. Three. Three.